Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Wake up, everybody! I'm on time! Haha. -ha. <laughs> I don't know what that is anymore. <clears throat> Facebook obviously is not pushing this out this morning. Wow. Okay. Look at today's numbers, and I kind of wonder if I'm even on the right page. Um, so, uh, happy birthday to my daughter, Gwen, who is the COO of our company, Naturally Healthy Pets. Um, she does an amazing job. For those of you who have had to reach out to her, email her, um, whatever. Uh, she is great. We are a little bit behind on emails. If you've sent emails in uh, kind of since Friday and have not gotten a response from us, it's because Brandon has been sick as a dog, uh, kind of pretty much flat on his back. Um, and uh, a lot of the emails filter through Brandon's email and then get distributed out to others of us to help answer. So, um, if you haven't gotten answers from us, it's we're not ignoring you. We're just a little behind, uh, and I think Gwen is a little under the weather as well. Yay, daycare. Um, and um, I don't know how many of you saw, but yesterday our post, our video got flagged because we mentioned the V word that apparently we're not allowed to ever say. We didn't even mention the C word that we're not allowed to ever say. Um, but if you shared the post, you will notice that there's a little fact checker box under it. Seriously, I guess we're not allowed to talk about immune systems. Yeah. Oh, the notification finally popped up. It's Facebook problem. Though. Yeah. Yay, Facebook. Uh, we're, we are diligently searching for a private platform. <laughs> diligently. Um, so besides wishing a very happy birthday to uh, Gwen, and I hope she does have a happy birthday, we're, we're hoping... Um, no, I don't use water to mix the Dr. Harvey's kidney support. I just sprinkle it in my dog's food, but uh, their food is very wet anyway. <laughs> Poor Brandon, no rush. I, he... He came to the barn yesterday to feed, and man, he is dragging. He is really dragging. Um, so we are trying to have a birthday party for Gwen on Saturday at the farm, but uh, for those of you who follow our uh, farm page, which is Fine and Dandy Acres, um, you'll see that I posted uh, this morning um, that... We ran into a snag. Our house was supposed to be finished this week so we could move in next week. We have a snag. They can't find paint to do the inside. We have one coat on. We need to get the final coat. And they can't find paint. They're going to have to drive to Virginia to get enough paint to finish painting our house. Like, really? First of all, they've known how much paint they're going to need for about a month since they put the first coat on. Don't wait until the week you need it to go find it. And second of all, shortages of everything. Everything. It's getting very frustrating. Anyway, is it normal for a 14-year-old small dog to just now show a murmur? Yep, aging change. All right, the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I bought this book, ooh, maybe a month ago now. I can't believe it's been that long, but it's been sitting on my desk. Um, and I bought it because I promised Jeff and Michelle that I would talk about it 
um, if I liked it. And I have to say, not only did I like it, I loved it. So uh, for those of you who have been following me for a while, uh, you know that I have been the um, chief veterinary officer for Monkey's House, uh, Senior Dog Hospice and Sanctuary, um, since it started in 2015. And um, Michelle and Jeff Allen are just absolutely amazing people. And so Jeff wrote his original book called uh, Where Dogs Go to Live, which is a great book. It's here somewhere. There it is. This was his first book, Where Dogs Go to Live, which talks a lot about how they um, care for 25 senior special needs dogs in their home. Uh, all these dogs are cared for in their home. Um, and they are all dogs who have been rescued from kill shelters uh, when senior dogs are dropped off by their owners who can no longer care for them for whatever reasons. And I'm going to not be judgmental because sometimes we don't know the reasons. Sometimes, particularly in the past year, the senior owner has uh, passed away and no one in the family would take the dog. Other times, people couldn't afford to take them to a veterinarian to care for all of their myriad of problems, but these dogs come with heart disease, cancer, kidney failure, liver disease, uh, pyometra, heart failure, you name it, these guys come with it. Um, so Jeff did this book. It's inspiring stories of hospice dogs, where dogs go to live. Um, really good book. Um, and, uh, it did well and it helped make money for the, the hospice. These guys need to raise a lot of money every year because they never skimp on veterinary care for these dogs or food for these dogs. All provide, um, I think I saw Dennis is on, all provide sends free food to them every week uh, because they go through a lot of food with 25 dogs. Uh, and then Michelle buys a lot more as well. Um, but it takes a lot to care for these dogs. They see the cardiologist, they go to physical therapy, they bought a big bus to transport these dogs. The dogs go on field trips to the beach, uh, to the forest. Uh, they have a lot of volunteers and it's, it's wonderful. You mailed herbs and meds to Michelle on Monday and the UPS guy wanted to know all about Monkey's House. That's amazing. Um, and we do help them spread the word. Uh, so Jeff came out with this second book, Life's a Dog Bone, Chew It All Day Long. And it's possum quotes for dog lovers. It's basically sort of like a coffee table book. And I'll, I'll show you uh, some of them, like there's a picture and everyone, there are pictures of the monkey's house dogs with a little, um, quote. This one says there's no place like home. Some of these are just amazing. That's Buck. He was there for quite a few years. He was one of Michelle's favorites. Happiness is snuggling under a blanket when it's cold outside and still being able to see the one you adore. Uh, I sat and read this last night. It doesn't take long to, um, to read, but some of these are, I, I remember the dogs and I love the dogs. Oops, let's see if I can get it. Let sleeping dogs lie or just have to walk them again. <laughs> uh, but it's a great book. Um, so if you, she ain't heavy, she's my dog. One of their beach trips. Um, if you have a dog loving friend and you need a book for them, these are available on Amazon and they're also on the monkeyshouse.org website. If you have a dog loving friend and you want to get them a nice gift, this would be a wonderful thing to get for them. Um, you're supporting a great cause. Plus your dog loving friends will, will love these. Um, here's a picture from the other book. These are black and white photos, but that's Michelle. And two of the dogs, let's see, that Fifi and Buck. Yeah, she really, Fifi uh, was great. I'm pretty sure Fifi was the one that was a brittle diabetic. Uh, I sent Michelle home with, um, when they got her, she was from the shelter. She was pretty much comatose. I saw her in the office, sent Michelle home with one of our IV fluid pumps. Michelle's a nurse. Uh, IV fluids, insulin. Uh, she set the dog up in their bathroom and literally lived in the bathroom with the dog for three or four days. Um, 
uh, biking along the beach. Oh, lucky you. Love the book. Yeah, these are great books. So um, if you have a dog loving friend or for yourself, if you want to buy yourself a special gift um, and spend a weekend immersing yourself in uh, senior hospice dogs, um, very, very enjoyable. So um, I haven't seen Michelle on this morning, but anyway, their website is monkeyshouse.org. They also have a Facebook page. Uh, Michelle posts a lot of pictures of the dogs on there. Um, it's a really special place. And uh, if you ever get to New Jersey, you could uh, get a hold of them and see if you can visit. Um, I don't know how much visiting they're doing other than their volunteers during COVID, uh, but they, they um, definitely are in need of monetary donations, but they will take uh, medications. If one of your pets passes and you have medications, you can reach out to them and see if it's stuff that they can use. Um, some of Shana's medication is most likely going to find its way to Monkey's house, unless I need to use it on somebody else in our household. But um, uh, okay, everybody have a wonderful day. Got to get out to the farm. Hugh, Hugh is so frustrated with the house being behind schedule. He's been mowing fields on the tractor for two days just to keep himself entertained because he's annoyed. <laughs> Uh, yes, you can just send them a donation. Um, a nice place to make uh, in-memory donations. But yes, and uh, quite a few people were nice enough. Faith um, Jones, uh, Beth Ginsburg um, sent donations to Monkey's House in memory of our Shana. We really appreciate it. Uh, blood stasis does need to be crushed when you give it. <laughs> okay, on that note, I'm going to get out to the farm and uh, feed some animals because they kind of like to eat, you know, donkeys, hinnies, horses. They're hungry in the morning. It's a long night. Gwen says, yay for mowed pastures, though. Yeah, he did your, or he's working on your side pasture. I don't know if he'll do your back one. He said he was going to leave it and make you guys do it. And he's so bored he did it. <laughs> Can MVD start at 14? Yeah, absolutely. Our Charlies didn't start until 16. So, thank you, Sherry. The UPS guy grew up in Tom's River, knew all about South Jersey. Yeah, uh, one of the guys working on our garage floor yesterday is from Bridgeton, New Jersey. I was like, next town over from where we were. Let me know if your husband is still alive by the time he gets to the barn. Yeah, poor husband. Enjoy your birthday, Gwen. <laughs>